All right, first things first, we need Python. So chances are you might already have Python on your computer. Even if you do, I recommend you uninstall it, reinstall it, and uh, download it again and reinstall it. And I'll show you why in just a second. So to do that, we're gonna head over to python.org. You can Google it if you want, or just type in python.org and come to downloads. And you can see right here, it says Python 3.7.3. That's the most current version right now. If that version has changed by the time you watch this video, as long as it's not version four, anything below four, go ahead and download whatever version it is. Perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button. And we wanna save this anywhere. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. And it's not a very big file. In fact, it's boom, it already downloaded. And so go ahead and click it to install this thing. And we want to run it. Oops, clicked it a couple of times there. Okay, so install Python 3.72 32-bit. Now this is the first thing. There is a 64-bit version. The 32-bit version is actually the one that you want. It's the most common one. Uh, it works perfectly fine on 64-bit computers. We all have a 64-bit computer. So uh, don't try and go find the 64-bit. You can download the 64-bit version from the website. I don't recommend that you do that. It's just a hassle. There's no real benefit to doing that. So this is the one we want. Now, before we click this button, this is the most important thing right here. And it is so very important. And this is why I recommend that you download this and reinstall it, even if Python is already on your computer. And that's this little checkbox right here, add Python 3.7 to path. And on a Windows computer, path means uh, you can run Python in this case, anywhere on your computer, right? You don't have to be in the Python directory in order to run Python. If you don't check this box, you have to be in the Python directory in order to run Python. You can't just run it from anywhere. So we want to be able to run it from anywhere, right? So go ahead and, and click that box. Make sure there's a little check box, uh, the check mark is, is selected on there. And it's so weird that by default, this is not selected. We absolutely want this checked. And uh, if you install Python some other time, chances are you didn't click that little box because it's not the default, you're not paying attention. Whoever reads the stuff on the installation screen, you just click next, right? So uh, there's a good chance that you don't have Python installed on your path and we wanna make sure that it is. So go ahead and check that. Once you do that, go ahead and click install now. And I'm gonna click no and cancel this thing because I've already installed Python, but you'll click okay and just wait for the installation process to complete. It'll scroll through some stuff. There'll be a little bar, status bar, and then that'll be that and you're good to go. Now, in order to use Python, we don't have to launch Python. We don't have to start it. We don't have to do anything at all. We've added it to our path. Now we can just use it anytime we want, anywhere we want, always on our computer. So very cool. Uh, if you're on a Mac, I don't have instructions for you to install on a Mac. You can just go to YouTube and type in Python installation Mac and it'll see a little two minute video that'll show you. If you don't already know yourself, chances are you already do. Uh, so we'll just leave it at that. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll jump in and look at installing our text editor and our command prompt terminal.